Hey guys, Betrayed here, and today we're on Sebi's account. So this is a free-to-play account, and um, level 220, so it is pretty old. So today we're going to be taking a look at this account, seeing what they did on this account, and also answering a few questions that they did have, that they did leave me on Discord. Um, but if you do end up liking this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, because liking and commenting uh, makes YouTube push the video out more. And, you know, it gets us closer to the giveaway. So if you do want to join the giveaway, subscribing and then doing that definitely helps a ton. And, you know, I'm trying to get another account as well for the next giveaway. So, yeah, a lot of giveaways coming up. Um, make sure to join the giveaway that's going on right now. And also join the Discord. We have uh, like 450 members there. It is pretty cool in there. Um, but, yeah, let's get right into this video. So these are the heroes. T5s on, or yeah, T5s on all three of these guys and a V3 Betty. Okay, let's take a look at this Aspen first. 66 million power, 5.8 million attack, decent amount of health, um, pretty good speed. So, do you guys like this? The, um, how they did it like this? It used to be like, it was 66 million, which are like six six and then the three other numbers and then the three other numbers so it was like all spread out i think why they did this is because it was like kind of popping out over here if that makes sense like instead of five million it was kind of like over here since the zeros would uh, cover all of this and maybe they were expecting it to go even higher since people are now easily into the uh, two digit or and even three digit millions so, yeah, that could be probably a reason why. But, let's check this out. Crit, crit, crit attack, stone, melodic strings. Um, I like this setup. Oops. Okay, crit damage, uh, precision, holy damage. That's good. Uh, two sublimations. That is fine. Um, let's go on to Elena. So, you got 2.1 million attack. You got an attack, attack, stone. Um, if you want to run a, a, a demon bell, I'd probably put a speed attack stone on her. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, if you want to go for speed, I would do that. Otherwise, I would kind of focus her more on attack. But that's just my personal opinion. Armor, damage reduction, and I'm guessing block. Yep, so that's good. Um, no, nothing on her there. Scarlet Queen Halora. Speed attack, uh, demon bell, uh, speed enables. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm kind of talking about. You should put that on Elena as well, just to give her enough speed to maybe go before Aspen. He still has more speed, but if you tweak a few things, uh, you can probably get there pretty high up in speed. Okay, now let's look at this Betty. No resonance gear, HP, HP. You're just building her for HP, I'm guessing, yeah. So just for her to stay alive. And then you got these two tenants. Um Augustus Magic Ball. And then you have all these other um artifacts as well. That's pretty nice. Okay. That looks good. And I'm guessing you have a similar build. Yep. Attack attack. Antlers cane. Yep. So yeah, you know what you're doing, definitely. And you got pretty good support as well. And you're building up Natalie. Is she a tenant for Betty? I'm not sure. Let me go check right now. If she is, then that's a really good build. So let's check this out. Cloud Island over here. Nope, this one. Go down here. Um, Betty or where's Betty at? Oh yeah, the new ones are up here, huh? Okay, so she is a tenant for her. So that's good. Are you just gonna start building all these tenants? Okay, um, that's good. I would keep her then. That's a good choice. You got good support. Uh, let's check this out. You have a lot of four star shards and a bunch of heroes, so you could definitely make more progress in that. But you have a little bit of backspace, so I understand that. I'm also going through something similar. Um, good sublimation, so you can sublimate. Sublimai, sublimai, a hero soon. Low crystals of transcendence. Um, a few stellars here. 
So that is decent. You have a bunch of these laying around. I'm guessing you're just waiting on Stellar. Um, you're saving up your scrolls, which I saw here, and your Ds. And also Ds for um, when you have 150 of these. Don't know why you're saving these up. Maybe you want to do like 20 at a time or something. But I just I would just spend them just because there's no event tied to them. So you can spend them whenever. Um, also these, I would open them. Um, um, this all looks fine. Don't, don't know what how you get those. Uh, I'd probably use those. Same with these, that's 44k stellar. Um, yeah, I would also use these uh, skin chests. Yeah, you got a bunch of these. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at some of this background of this account. So, um, the story of this account is that it was a Fairy Queen Vesta carry. But after I got Jara to T5, I decided to switch it to a Lord of Fear, Lord of Fear Aspen account. Uh, as it wasn't really making any progress in campaign. So, let's take a look at campaign real quickly. 2-3 with 4 Transcendence Heroes. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, I'm only right here with like, you know, like 10 of them. We don't talk about that, but I'm right there with 10 of them. I haven't really tried recently, and I have a 10 million attack Aspen, so I know that there's no reason I should be right there, but I am. So, yeah, in terms of that, in terms of Void Campaign, you're doing better than me just because, um, or not better than me, but pretty good compared to me, just because I'm really lazy. And, yeah, um, Void Campaign video soon, maybe. But um, uh, I know I made a couple of mistakes, like trying to... Uh, taking out cores of origin for trying to make progress but i kind of like the way my account has turned around so cores of origin oh yeah you got a fairy queen vesta and a, a starwing jara core i wouldn't stress it too much you're gonna use them anyways at some point so you're just kind of have them right now it would have been better if you had a lord of fear aspen you could have made it a two star one but I wouldn't worry about it. Like I said, your account has turned out really nice. And swapping over to an Aspen account is pretty good. So a lot of people are probably in your same um, shoes, in your same situation. Because uh, Fairy Queen Vesta not too long ago was the way to go. And getting the Jara Core was the way to go. So, yeah, you kind of messed up a little bit. But it's not the end of the world. So that's good right there. Um... I do have a couple of questions in mind. Do I regress my Elena and split um, some power into Betty so I can get T2 on her for better passive? Um, split Elena so both of them get resources. I wouldn't. I honestly wouldn't. I would probably just keep the Elena and then just build her up as fast as you can. Put everything into her if you really want to use her. Um, you don't really have her tenants built yet. You only have one. So in the meantime, you should probably focus on building her tenants. That's just my opinion. Maybe people are like, yeah, you should totally build Elena. And they could be right. They could be. Um, I could be wrong, but that's just what I would do. I would keep all three of these. You know, you're done with them. You're. Good, now you can focus on your second homeowner. So, yeah, that's what I would do. Um, what should my next transcendence be? Okay, so if you want to go with Betty, you want to focus her tenants. So, let's take a look at where her tenants are. We're probably going to look for somebody who can support the team we have right now. So, um, let's look at Betty. So, Azrael is out of the question. Oh, okay, um... <laughs> Um, RNA, okay. Um, I mean, if you want to build an RNA, you can. But honestly, I would probably scrap Betty. I'm not going to lie. I would scrap Betty and probably build yourself a, um, this is just like another account kind of review I was making where they had to decide which hero they should make. Oops, I think I went too far. I would probably go with a Jara just so you could do even more 
uh, progress into the void campaign just because her as a homeowner she's really good at it and i would probably make jara and then um well i guess and um, i guess you can make a homes young after that so jara and then a homes young that could be your team right there homes young he's gonna do a little bit at least you already have uh you already have queen and you already have elena so those aren't a choice and then you're not gonna you want to make sfx so that leaves you with homes young he's good for pvp so that's kind of a bonus but yeah i would go with jara uh and then a homes young probably unless you really want to keep up with betty then you could go with betty but um yeah that's what i would do and then just try to do as much word campaign as possible uh that's really your choice though depends on where you want to bring this account um should i put betty in a home in the near future yeah i would do it definitely there's no uh, downside to that especially if you want to build her uh the only thing you could that could go wrong is if you split the resources so let's say you have your um Let's go over here. Let's say you have all your resources in here, which it looks like you do. Uh, don't, I guess, um, reset these. Don't do that. And then split the um, resources among this one. Uh, finish the first one and then hop onto the second one. That's my advice and probably what everybody should do. Um, if I get a B plus stone in the next Soul Awakening session, should I risk uh, putting it on Queen for a better copy? Hmm. Let's see what your queen has first. C plus. Uh, what does this B plus have? Why is it here? B four point three attack. Oh, four point eight. That's nice. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, uh, this is what I would say. Put it either... Actually, put it on Aspen. So you could probably get lucky. You you might get lucky and you could get an A copy. Or you could get a pretty good B, B plus copy. So you can um, uh, get a B plus on him with more than 4.8 million attack or 1,000 attack. So if you get that, you're lucky and you get a better copy for him and you get him at B plus. But if you're unlucky, or you could sell this copy then, the B copy right here. Or you could swap it over to this one and sell this B plus copy for even more. And then put it, uh, make it so then you could buy a pretty good copy for Halora. They should be selling around the same price. So you could probably get a B plus copy for him and just like, or B plus copy for Halora. And then uh, wait a little bit, wait a bit of time so you could get a good attack one. So... Then you'll have a B plus on her as well. So yeah, that's just my advice. Um, go for him. And if you don't get nothing good out of him, then you could just sell that copy that you rolled. And then um, buy Halora a better copy. So yeah, that's just my advice right there. Because if you get an A minus Halora, that's going to feel bad. So yeah, that's my advice. Um, do I focus more on Sublimation or on Cores of Origin? Okay, so you do have sublimation right here and um, right here. So, do you have any sublimation right now? You have 45k and you need 180,000. So, um, you need one watermelon chest and another one of these. Honestly, get the cores. You want to get a bunch of cores for Lord of Fear Aspen. So you can destiny him as soon as possible. So focus on cores. That would be my opinion. Um, get it all into Aspen. And you know hope that around somewhere you can pick up sublimation. Uh, you'll probably pick it up sooner or later. Sometimes that's like the only reward you could get. And you can't get um, cores. So yeah I would say cores. Focus on those. Because you are going to need a bunch of them. Uh, to destiny Aspen. And soon enough, you'll probably want to call for somebody else as well. So yeah, that's just my advice right there. 
you seem to be doing pretty good as a free-to-play player especially. So, you don't got much to worry about. This is a really solid account. This is something you guys should aim to do. You know, focus on your main hero. Make it a good main hero. And focus on their tenants. Don't uh, rush transcendence heroes. Take it one step at a time. Build your heroes up really nicely with sublimation. Um, you are going to make mistakes. And you're going to make uh, decisions that were good at the time but aren't good now just like getting those cores because the Jaro one was super OP and I understand why some people would get the Vessel one if that was their main hero because I got it too because I want to make her destiny but um yeah you're gonna make mistakes but you, all you can do is just bounce back from it so uh yeah that's pretty much what you want to do this is a really nice account nothing wrong with it uh, you did make some mistakes, but nothing that's going to slow your progress too much down. If you just keep on saving your stuff, you got a bunch of um, scrolls. You got some orbs that you can use in the near future to get some sublimation, some more cores, uh, some more stellar, everything. So, yeah, this is a really nice account. Um, if you guys do want an account review, make sure to DM me on Discord or comment down below. By the way, I give this account like a... Four words, yeah. I give it an 8 out of 10. It's a really nice account. Um, maybe some people were, will criticize it more, but it is hard as a free-to-play. Honestly, I know how it is to get all these resources up. My level 220 account, it was nowhere near your power, and it was like VIP 3. So, yeah, you should be really happy about that. Let's actually see your power. So, it's... Uh, 138 million power that's really nice um and you're saving up your train tickets as well so that would probably give you a bunch of power right there but yeah um eight out of ten for this account there was a few mistakes you could already had a um well what is it a i don't know what it's called um uh, i guess just a two star core and you could add a little bit more sublimation probably you could have been really close to a uh, destiny hero but that's okay so yeah 8 out of 10 really nice rating uh if you guys do want a account review make sure to dm me on discord or comment it down below and make sure to leave a comment and a like for the youtube algorithm and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out